Oh yeah. Yeah. We moved the. Uh, well, that ballast. Let's just get this one out of the way, and then that one will have a spot, won't it? Yeah. Okay, there you go. One, two, three. Oh, oh you shoulder it? Oh no, you don't no, you shoulder, don't have it. To shoulder it. Oh, oh it sorry. Hey, you know what I mean? Right, don't try the hill. Ha ha! On there somewhere. On there somewhere. Oh no. Can you lift it over that way? I'm going to wait for something. I'll try and rest it and lift it over there. You can just fucking roll it. There we go, you right, leave that there for now. I'll leave that up in. That goes on there. Yeah. And then, and then that slide goes that. in place. That's actually getting spoiled. Do you want the. Well. <laughs> right, if we stand there, if you stand there, it's actually might end up getting knocked. I was thinking I could kind of put it and. <laughs> Essentially, if Hannah can sort of pass it to me. You're right, don't get on with the wall. High five. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Go team. Jesus. It's alright, we just got enough out of there, is not it? So now, now just over the pole and resting on the end there? Yeah, so we want to clear that pipe and rest in there, but it could roll on us quite easily. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, clear the pipe. Uh oh. We're going to have to go back that way, isn't it? Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, jeez. Stick it on that knob. Okay. Then get out of the way. Oh, just swing it through, yeah. Oh, you all right? Does it have to poke off the other one? Overhang that way, yeah. Can we just drive? Do you want me to lift the other end? Yeah, we can drive it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Cool. First one in place. First one. That was us. That was the plan. One of many. Good, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's in. Cool. Big fixing through there. And the first one's in. Notched in and everything. Awesome. it into the door. The other building gets built around yeah, here. This is sitting on top of the log here. Nice curves to it. Really cool looking. Oh sorry. But yeah. All notched in. The other side too. Morning everyone. So uh had a quite a number of 
alcoholic beverages around the campfire last night and I'm not feeling tip top. <laughs> oh dear, no one's up yet. It's a great night, really good fun. Lovely campfire, good people, nice food, some nice homemade ciders and oh, it was a great night. A bit of guitar, brilliant, but uh, yeah, might be a slow start this morning I think. <clears throat> but yeah, roof log up. And uh, today I'll we'll work on getting a few more of these up there and uh, start. Well, I reckon we might be around there today somewhere. Just a uh, quick little bit of scribble here. So just to explain what's going on. Roof window is going to be 2.3 meters or 2,300 millimeters. We have 15 main supporting rafters. So that's number of rafters. So we've got the roof window um, diameter times 3.14 is gives us a circumference, 7222. We've got 7222 divided by 15, that's not percent, that's meant to be divided by, divided by, don't know why I did that so early, divided by 15 equals 481. 481 millimetres is our distance between each, where each rafter intersects the last one, so, um, can you see that there? So, if we have a circle there like that, rafter comes in, another one comes in, another one comes in, another one comes in, another one comes in, so on. It's that distance that between each rafter intersecting the last one. That's it. 481 is the measurement. Really. Are we ready? Okay. Um, just slide along again, sir. Yeah. Fine. Oh, you think we've done this before, right? right? Well, you know. <laughs> Good, this is the one that's being recorded, isn't it? <laughs> right, a bit that way, Mark. Yep. One, two, three. Oh, we're lifting, are we? Yeah, it's lifting, yeah. One, two, three. Got a good angle on it, though. Yeah, it looks quite nice like that. Yeah. Should have done this screwing up with the uh, the, 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 the
Check it out. We're on. What pole are we on? Number ten. That's number. That's nine, I think, wasn't it? Oh, that's nine. We're doing number nine now. There we go. Looking good, right? Nice. Really coming along. Awesome. So we're going to start coming from this side now. Pick up the ones over there. Put them there. Walk the other end round. Yeah, sorry, I didn't get much footage putting that in. It was a bit dodgy at one point. Let's put that up. Stop someone getting knocked out. Or, oh, well, killed, really. Chainsaw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're right round now to the uh, edge of the door. We need a bit more height round here. So I didn't think we'd get round here, so I didn't get prepared round here, but you know, we're flying along, so. The boys are just doing uh, working on some uh, wall plates around there. They're going to be smaller because we run out of uh, nice thick bits of wood. So they'll work on those around there. Doing a few more earth bags just to get some height there. And then we'll put up another couple of roof beams. Check it out. How cool is that? I think you'd be hard pushed to find a cooler workshop in the entire world than that. Yeah, 
Oh. So yeah, here's the uh, circle from the inside. We spent a lot of time making sure everyone lays on the next one very pleasingly. That top one's not fixed yet. Yeah, those ones all are. Very pleasing circle. Really good. Feels like it's actually enclosed in it now. Oh, it's so exciting. Look at that. Well, it's a new day and the uh, weather's turned on us a little bit, as you can see. Just uh, st still early. Just uh, going around, putting in the uh, stainless steel threaded rods through and uh, then we'll be a lot more secure up there and we can start adding the secondaries in so yeah I'm just gonna go up there and we'll show you doing this uh, climb up onto here oh, excuse any rattling noises I'm climbing onto a roof so we just finished drilling out this hole here Stainless steel, bit of threaded 10 mil on through there. Maybe a little bit. Sorry, it's raining. I got nowhere to set the camera up. Yeah, they go through there. We just tighten them up, as you can see. I think that's the best solution for that. You see people putting straps around and stuff. And I think a single stainless steel bolt through there. You know, the bolt is, is just stopping any slip that way a little bit, even though it can't really happen at all once all the other bits are in between the rafters. But uh, yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. As you can see from up here, the circle is very pleasant. It curves around. All going to plan. Started putting in some secondary rafters to uh, bridge those gaps a little bit, and they just tie in to the other ones, as you can see. We're down to a three man team now, so uh, me, John and Ben, we're just uh, stripping a log and putting a log up and we're getting there, putting in all these secondary rafters see there's a lot of holes in this roof I think there's about 30 odd in total with the secondaries and everything morning everyone, so nice day just uh, up around the side of the roof here I thought I'd just show you something that I haven't shown quickly well this actual angle for a start uh, yesterday we got all these secondary rafters in, so here's a main, as you can see main, main, secondary. I just thought I'd show you, they're getting fixed up here by these big long bolts. That one needs sinking in a bit further, it's just uh, we didn't know if we were going to have to shuffle these around. So this morning, just waiting for the boys to uh, turn up. I'm just going to fix all these secondaries in with a big long screw down into that wall plate. And uh, yeah, 
Rope's still very tight. All good. So what we've been doing with these is uh, <clears throat> seeing where they sit and then uh, having a look, see, like that, yeah, move it to the side and then giving it a hollow out with the chainsaw. Need a bit more space than that. Let's move this big rock out the way. Sitting quite good, and he's a bit more out of that corner over there. Over right there. There we go, that felt good. Let me just drive the big fixing down through there. So with these ones we'll be using these smaller fixings and the big ones we used a big thing about 350 mil. Fixed. Remember that this wall, or the sorry this roof will have a good 10 tonne of mass on it and uh, these fixings are really just to hold these in place while we build the rest of the roof they're not going to be doing much after that there's so much weight pushing down and there's no spreading load with these kind of roofs so I'll just show you so with this kind of roof there is no outwards spreading of the wall. This roof is not spread, trying to spread that wall outwards. Its weight only goes downwards. So that's why it's okay for these roofs to just kind of rest on top of the wall as opposed to be fixed down all the way through the wall. Another view there. Just trying to get lots of views because it's quite a beautiful thing to see. Here's what it looks like around the front currently. And remember we're going to be putting that whole front porch on it, that's why there's no overhang here. Because there's going to be a building out here still. We need to clean up these piles that are around. And this hole in the roof here has got to get left now until I can build the rest of this up and tie it into the top workshop because these start to go up a bit there so I've got to wait for that so we're just going to work on this bit first and then we'll come back to that part of the roof later but we get this bit done and then we'll have a sheltered area to work under when we're doing the rest of it which is going to make things a lot easier and I need to do some work over here because we need to raise this up to make it work properly as you can see the intermediate or the secondary rafters some of them lay in we added an extra couple that are sort of notched into the last ones and from back here it almost looks like a coil of rope and it just looks awesome so let's just uh, while it's nice and quiet have a little chat about preempting the fact that there is going to be a lot of people saying those spans are too long if you're going to put turf on it because I can feel it coming in my bones everyone's going to say you can't that's going to be too heavy those spans are too long remember there is a wall that touches all of these poles along here that intersects almost halfway through the workshop okay don't panic, 
no one's gonna die everything's fine I know people like to uh, think that the world is going to end and that everything needs to be made of some kind of like million mile thick steel cable but that is not the case okay so don't panic everything's fine there's a wall from there to there which takes all the weight off all of these okay Oh, me and the volunteers just did a load of work filled in all along there had something to eat had a little stern back from it and then realised still got to build the whole front bit so I just had to take it all down oh, I reckon I've just been at this too long now I need a few days off yeah making silly mistakes boys are going to be here for a couple more hours put up some hazel and then uh, I'm going to take a few days off so yeah, this is a little experiment I've set up. This is two layers of hessian, lime washed. And uh, I think this one I'm gonna put between the hazel on the roof. But I just wanted to check that it was gonna be uh, pretty fire resistant because I don't want a, a fabric that's gonna be combustible in the roof. So that's been there now, it's dry. Put a blowtorch to it. That is more fire resistant than anything else I'm going to be able to use. There's it as it, as it burning away. That's without fire lime on it. Burns. Lime washed. can't even get it to burn, that's with a blowtorch. So yeah, that is what we're gonna do for the roof. Yeah, definitely. That is fireproof, as far as I'm concerned. That blowtorch is probably 1100 degrees almost, maybe even more. Can't get through it. So that's what we're doing, it's gonna work. Right, boys are just getting this hazel up on here. A little tiggledy piggledy, which is what we like. And then we're gonna put hessian across and then uh, whitewash it all. Yeah, screws in here, John. It's starting to feel like a proper building. <laughs> you go as far as here, couldn't we now? Well, the boys are just leaving. We did so much, I can't believe. I just can't thank them enough. Just an amazing amount of work. Great team of people, lovely people. 
um, just work really well together, just really nice guys and uh, just got so much done so I've uh, just seen them off, they're just leaving now said thank you and everything hopefully they'll be back because just great so yeah I'll probably carry on a bit with this hazel tomorrow um, but I think we're going to leave this video here because there's a lot to it and uh, once we build in and tie into that top workshop we can finish this wall up there and then finish the roof off around there loads to do but good progress nonetheless so we'll have one last little look at it and then we'll end this video so hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching